Salutations, Proboscis2 here, here with another episode of Last Action Replay. Today's game is LEGO Star Wars on the PS2. 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 And we will be patching the debug menu code. Now, I've already done an uh, episode like this for the GameCube version of LEGO Star Wars. LEGO Star Wars on the GameCube. 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 So, I'll link that in the description if you want to do it with that version, but anyways. Let me talk about this code. This is the debug menu code that I created, and the 20 sets the code as a 32-bit RAM write. This, 35F9FO, is the address in RAM that's going to be written, or overwritten, and the 00000001 is what will be written to the set address. So, to find out where this uh, address is located in the executable when viewing it with a hex editor, we need to, because uh, the process is different for PS2 games. It, if it were GameCube, you'd be able to create a memory dump with Dolphin in debug mode and then look at that and then compare that to the executable, but with PS2 it's a little different. To locate it in PS2, we need to, first of all, extract the ISO, so here's my little Star Wars ISO. Open it with Ultra ISO. This is my ISO editor of choice. Make a new folder. Play with Star Wars 1. And now we will extract the game. Okay. Delete the padding file to save space on your computer. And this is the executable. So what we need to do is load this in Ghidra, which is a disassembler slash decompiler. So, here's my Ghidra folder. You will need an uh, extension of Ghidra that will be able to allow you to uh, load PS2 executables. I can't remember what it's called, so I'll have to find that and put a link in the description. But, yeah. Okay. Now, what you're going to want to do is, I already have this here. I'm going to delete it so I can show you the process of analyzing it. Drag it into Gidra. Press OK. Yeah, that's fine. Now, double click on it to open it. Now, when it says uh, SLAU slus underscore 210.83 has not been analyzed, would you like to analyze it now? Press Yes. Now, press Select All on the analyzers. Then press analyze. And it will start analyzing. Now this is going to take about 10 minutes, so uh, I'm going to cut back when it's done. So let's see here. OBS.
I'm getting sick of this shit. Alright, once it's done analyzing, go ahead and press the save icon so that you never have to analyze it again. That'll help if you ever need to load it again. Uh, and, uh, now we can, uh, let's see here. Copy the address and RAM from the code. Go to navigation and go to, and we paste the address and leave the two zeros intact, I think. Yeah, there we go. And so this is what's read by the game that enables the debug menu. If you click on this function that references this data, or data type, uh, you'll see if that, and then it's the address in RAM, is not equal to zero, it runs, it puts the LEGO options string in the pause menu. So, yeah. Uh, so now that we're here, we need to find a way to copy some hex that's surrounding it. So what you're going to want to do is go to Window and press Bytes. There we go. Now we need to copy the surrounding hex. So I'm just going to copy these lines. Copy it. Now let's go back to our ISO and open our executable in a hex editor. Go to search, find, hex values, and paste the hex we copied. There we go. Go ahead and search again just to make sure there are no duplicates. And there aren't. So this means that this is the area in the executable that enables the debug menu. So. Setting that to 1 will enable the debug menu. Save it, and close it. Delete the backup. And now we rebuild the executable. So, go to Ultra ISO, File, New, PS2 CD Image, Star Wars 1, select the system.cnf, save it. Uh, name it whatever you want, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Close everything, and uh, now we can run it in PCSX2, and I'm going to accentuate to you that I have no cheats enabled, so you can see that there, and uh, let me browse, select the ISO, and we'll boot fast. May as well make this full screen. Er, no, because I want to keep emphasizing to you that I have no cheats in it. Freaking turn that down so I don't get copyrighted and slowed game. Come on, okay. If we pause. There it is, the book menu, permanently patched to the ISO. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode of Last Action Replay, but uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.